Natasha from inlineskatecourse.com. Welcome to Buenos Aires. I'm here at the Van Skate Park and it's got this fantastic rink. And as soon as I get a rink, I just can't, I can't stop myself. So, so here's a new tutorial for you. And this one has been asked for probably by more people. And it's about the soul slide, okay? So the soul slide is this one here, yeah, when you're going forwards. So um, I would love to be able to show you this one. But since I've been injured, my injured hip doesn't like any movement that is uh, inverted. So unfortunately, I can't demo it for you, but my friend Sergio from Skate School here in Buenos Aires, Roller 7, he is going to do all of my demos for me. So uh, let's start off by uh, looking at the Sergio's demos, check out the things that I'm paying attention to, and then we'll learn it in three different steps. Notice how Sergio begins the sole slide with a big half lemon out to the side. The slide actually begins far away from the body. Notice the really deep knee bend to begin with. Try to keep the chest upright, but you will have to lean forwards a bit. The support leg should be on a center edge, not tilted in or out. Okay, so let's begin with the first part of the soul slide. And you're gonna start every exercise statically. So good knee bend, put both of your hands on your favorite leg, the leg that you prefer to put weight on, okay? In this case, it's gonna be the left. And then half lemon is this movement with the other skate, and it points out and then in. Yeah, out and then in. And this skate stays upright, not out or in, but vertical on the center edge. And then you do your train, your half lemons, in a straight line. Out and in, out and in. So the half lemons, make sure both hands go on the support leg and try and get as much of your weight there as possible. Lots and lots, because when this other leg begins to slide later on, it needs to be very light. Okay, so let's do stage number two. You're now gonna add a scissor onto the end of your um, lemon. So a scissor is one foot in front of the other, more weight on the back leg. So here's the support leg. So you're gonna go half lemon scissor, half lemon scissor. So you're finishing pushing the lemoning leg forwards. Let's try it rolling. So half lemon scissor, half lemon scissor, and really turn this skate in at the end. So for the third stage, um, take a look at this uh, sort of L shape here on the ground. And I want you to imagine a diagonal line cutting those two, okay, to make it an angle of 45 degrees. So with your support leg here, the half lemoning skate, you have to have the flexibility in your hip joint to invert this leg at least 45 degrees, maybe more. And some people will have trouble with that uh, in the hip joint, which means you do this kind of exercise and you do this next exercise lots and lots in order to uh, build that flexibility. So now you do that and you're gonna finish each half lemon and scissor in an inverted 45 degrees. Yeah, again, inverted 45 degrees. And you're trying to make your scissor, your, excuse me, your lemon as big as possible. Yeah, with a nice big distance here. Then you can do the same exercise from a little bit more speed. Again, trying just to slide the heel. And imagine the more that you turn this skate in, that heel, you're gonna try and push the heel away. Okay, so that's the feeling, pushing the heel away in a diagonal direction, yeah? It doesn't have to go forwards yet. You push it diagonally forwards, and eventually it can then, you know, as you keep sliding, it can come in, okay? So, that's all the stages, right? Let's have a look at some problems. So the first problem, not surprisingly, not enough knee bend, yeah? Now if you don't have enough knee bend in the support leg, the half lemon is gonna be quite small and it's not going to be very far away from, you know, your skates are gonna be close together. And that means that the angle of your sliding skate is gonna be quite upright. You will never slide with an upright angle. So you need to bend your knee, get your thumb closer to the ground, make a larger half lemon and get a bigger distance between your sliding leg and your support leg. So this angle, you can also, you can stick your ankle out or you can stick your ankle in and down. Yeah, so really down with the knee, down with the butt, down with the inner ankle. And that takes quite a lot of strength in your support leg, okay? So that's the first problem, is a combination of all those things. Not enough knee bed, not enough distance, not the right angle. So check all of those three. Get someone to video you, see if you're doing any of those.
So I hope that tutorial was useful for those of you learning the soul slide. The good news is once you get the soul slide and you're already going several meters, you can then begin the process of learning the magic slide. So when you're in the soul, you then flip this other one to the inside edge of the magic and you go sideways, right? So, you know, you can't even dream about the magic slide unless you've got the soul slide. So it's a great prerequisite skill for that. So it's kind of two slides and press one. So, um, you know, the forward, the soul slide is like the forwards version of the backwards power slide, which is the same, just the opposite backwards, okay? And both the soul slide and the power slide both come in my uh, stops and slides classes, which I'm doing on my world tour in various places. I'm in Buenos Aires teaching that here at the moment. And at the end of May, 25th, 26th, I'll be teaching in San Francisco and on the 1st and 2nd of June in New York City. And in both of those uh, cities, I'll be doing the same three workshops. Uh, stops and slides, fitness and speed, and crossovers, turns and jumps. Okay, so check out those pages. I'll put a link below this video. So before too many more planes come over, uh, great wishes from Buenos Aires, and hope to see you in the States. See you soon. Bye-bye.